So uh, we'll just read DC resistance here, uh, pins 2 and 3. And then uh, we'll do the same here for uh, pins number uh, 1 and number 4. And then we'll look at the filament voltage here for the other remaining tubes. I'll get another uh, tube socket adapter out and uh, we'll just make sure that our uh, filament winding here on the transformer is uh, good as well. You can see one side goes to uh, chassis ground. Let's check the uh, secondary here of the transformer. Pins two to three. And I don't like what I see there. You can see I'm about uh, 1K. That seems uh, really high. All right, let's jump down to, uh, I'll leave the uh, one connection point here on pin three, and we'll just go to ground here. Use this screw head here. And 745 for that part of the winding. And only 328 ohms for this side, which seems uh, normal. So, uh, looks like we've got uh, some additional DC resistance here. But that's not a good sign. Hopefully not another uh, transformer issue just like we had with the uh, airline 62306. Alright, let's check the uh, heater string here on the secondary side. Pins uh, 1 and 4 and uh, that's what I would uh, look to see anything uh, around one ohm or less. Alright, let's plug in into the uh, Type 41 tube here and uh, read the other heater string here just to make sure we're good. Alright, let's get the old uh, six pin adapter in now. Like I said, we'll just use the uh, 41 tube here. The uh, heater string should be uh, one to six. Let's see what we've got here. That's a good sign as well, and I would expect the uh, heater string here for the uh, remaining tubes to be uh, less than one ohm, like we're seeing. All right, we'll just check this one for now, but uh, I'm going to assume that side of the uh, transformer at least tests uh, good DC resistance-wise. Still bummed out, though. Can't say that enough about the uh, secondary side there. I'm not uh, satisfied with those DC resistance measurements. All right, you guys can see I'm using my audio signal generator. And what I'm going to do is bring the amplitude up. I'm using a uh, square wave. You'll notice here. And I'm going to just bring my attenuation to a point here to uh, 5 volts. And the uh, 5 volts there, that's under load. So I've got my uh, leads hooked up to my uh, primary side of my transformer. Under load and uh, reading there the uh, 5.02 volts. I'll try to tweak that and knock it down to be precise, but that's uh, close enough for what we're doing here. All right, you can see there I've got the uh, tube socket adapters plugged in. This is the uh, Type 80 rectifier tube. And uh, this being the uh, Type 41 audio tube. So uh, what I'm going to do, we'll start here on the uh, plate itself, which will be pins uh, 2 to 3. Alright, so take note of what we uh, see there. I'm going to record that here and we'll do some basic math. So 22.97. Now let's go from uh, pin number 2 here to ground And uh, we'll take note of that reading as well. 12.06, we'll call it. And uh, we'll repeat that for uh, pin number 3 here. 10.94. Let's do the same exercise here for uh, pins number 1 to 4, which will be the filament here of the uh, Type 80. 0.211. Moving along here. Pins number 6 to 1 here on the Type 41 tube, just to read the uh, heater string. 
and you can see we're reading uh, 0.277. The next thing we want to do, you can see we've got all the uh, secondary voltages that we read here in the left column. We're going to take the uh, secondary voltage and just divide it by our input that we used, which was uh, 5 volts. So we'll start out here, the uh, 22.97, divide that by the uh, 5. And you can see that gives us a, a ratio of uh, 4.594. And I can just take that and multiply that by my modern day line voltage of 120 volts. And uh, that would give us about uh, 551 0.28 volts here on the uh, secondary between uh, pins 2 and 3 of the uh, power transformer here. Let me just go ahead and work through the rest of these real quick. Alright, you can see now I've got all the uh, voltages here for the high voltage side uh, calculated. And uh, here's the uh, you know, the one that's kind of concerning, you can see the difference here between uh, 2 to ground and 3 to ground. And uh, that ties as, as well back to the DC resistance measurements that uh, I took that I shared as well. So we'll just uh, be mindful of that and uh, see if that uh, creates any issues as we uh, put the transformer actually under load. Let's uh, finish the calculations here looking at the uh, filament and uh, heater string. This should be uh, 6.3 volts when we do the calculation or close to that. And of course the uh, filament for the type 80 is uh, 5 volts. So let's do the math here and see what we end up with. Okay, we got our 5 volts there so we should be good. And uh, you can see we're uh, good there as well. So in the past, when I've calculated this, I've always been within 1%, uh, and uh, that's uh, close enough for me. And it's a nice, uh, safe way to uh, do a basic test. Again, we're not putting the transformer under load, so I cannot see the uh, wattage draw. You know, we want to make sure that we're under uh, 10 watts. This is a really small transformer. I did the math real quick, and I think this radio uh, B plus wise probably draws uh, just north of uh, 30 milliamps, maybe 30 to 35 milliamps. That's just some quick math.